you can't start a review without the patented Snoopy Thanksgiving requenchifying cup. You know what I'm saying? Ah, Vape Vlog 101. Guys, what is going on? Joe Ball Vapes coming at you. It's been a minute since we've done a review together, but uh, life is a little bit thicker for me these days. I'm spreading myself thin in about every direction humanly possible. As many of you guys know, I've been whining on my social media about um, uh, my brand new baby coming sometime this month, uh, the month of June 2017. And uh, pretty much any day at this point. So all my sponsors have been delightfully patient with me on getting regular posts and reviews out. So to all you guys out there, thank you so much. Really appreciate your understanding. Incidentally, if this is your first time tuning in to one of my reviews, thank you very much. I will do my best to sway your attention from anything else that's going on out in the real world long enough. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. You know what, folks? I don't do this for the money, clearly, because I still have a nine to five job, okay? I do it because I enjoy it because I get a little bit of something out of it. It gives me a good pastime. Um, you know, I've met a lot of awesome people, made some pretty decent friends in the industry. Sometimes I think about doing something um, to make actual money out of this, and sometimes, you know what, I just do it because I enjoy doing it. But the reality of it is, until a nine to five job presents itself and says, Joe, you can make a ton of money slinging vape, I'm just gonna keep doing it the way I do it, you know what I mean? But Respect to those that represent me and that I represent. I really appreciate each and every single solitary one of you. You guys know who you are. So, um, first of all, the way I do it on the Vape Vlog 101 episodes is um, just a collective of things. Sometimes it's just my thoughts. Sometimes it's current events. Uh, sometimes it's um, just a mishmash of different stuff that we put together. My first Vape Vlog 101 uh, was about um, just the climate of the current vaping uh, industry and all the stuff going on with the federal regulations and blah 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 okay that's still just kind of floating very subtle on most people's minds not as much as it was but um, you know there's still the whole to nicotine or to not nicotine okay so pretty much everything's in two factions right now one we want to keep pumping pretty much what we've been doing okay e-juice is e-juice it either has nicotine in it or we can get it in zero milligram but if it even rubs up against a tobacco plant, okay, the feds are going to consider it a tobacco product. And right now, all you know, the advocacy groups are pretty much working with uh, the federal government is in the effect of making it um, not so stringent. We know what it is. They know what it is. Now what we're trying to do is prove that it's not nearly as bad for you as straight up cigarettes, which in effect, it really is not as bad for you as straight up cigarettes. Now, Let's talk about the addictive uh, factors of nicotine. We all know that it's addictive, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and preach to you till kingdom come that it isn't because I would be wasting my time, I'd be wasting your, your patience. It is what it is. There are subtle levels of the differences between e-juice comparatively to things like cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobacco, stuff like that, okay? Um, you know, just all the chemicals and all the crap that go on in that stuff. And then there is also uh, the other side of the equation, just kind of like this short, smaller little pie section, if you will, on the chart of things like, okay, so we want nicotine. We're used to that. A lot of us enjoy that feeling that we get. Just kind of that calm, you know, just that real chill, you know, sometimes right in the, you know, when we wake up in the morning, I definitely know that with a good cup of coffee, I like to hit a little puff. But for me, particularly, like in my personal situation, you know, I'm getting back into the bodybuilding gig. Um, and uh, nicotine is a massive appetite suppressant. It is not a stimulant, um, unfortunately. I wish it was, which is one of the reasons why when people quit smoking, they typically gain a ton of weight. Well, there's a lot of biochemical purposes and reasons for that. Um, I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff. The point is to nicotine or not to nicotine. And then do we want it to be from a tobacco source or can we bring it in from some other um, source necessary to still give us the same effect, but back away from tobacco, okay? You know what I'm saying? So in comes the TFN products. Now TFN has been around for quite some time. I think the earliest I heard of uh, TFN derived nicotine was probably around 
oh, I'd say 2013. You know, I don't know how long it's been around, to be perfectly honest with you. And for those of you who don't know what TFN is, it stands for tobacco-free nicotine. And it is plant-derived other plants besides the tobacco plant, okay? So Vapecraft got a hold of me recently and have come out with a line of e-liquids, breakfast and dessert inspired. Um, if they taste as amazing as the one that they sent me for review, then I, I'm, hopefully I'm looking for some massive treaty goodness, you know what I'm saying? Monday's e-liquid is um, the stuff that we're talking about right now, and this is the TFN derived e-liquid. This stuff comes to me in 3% uh, nicotine, so 3 milligrams in a 30 milliliter bottle. The flavor of this one is milk and oats. I don't know if you can see on the side right there. It comes in this cool little paper lined tube that you can just pretty much slide right off of there. Now, it comes in uh, four different flavors. Um, there you go, a little Monday's action going on right there. Um, the four different flavors are breakfast donut, and then we got fruit flakes, French toast, and of course, the milk and oats. Now, I've tried other flavors in the past that are breakfast derived. Um, some oaty, milky flavors, you know, and different derivatives of like granola and, you know, breakfast cereal type stuff that isn't so much hyped on the novelty end of breakfast cereal. And sometimes it's tasty, sometimes it's just really, really um, common. You know what I'm saying? Like a dime a dozen kind of stuff. And the one thing I will honestly say is that most nicotine infused e-liquid that I've tasted, I like a heck of a lot better than zero nick e-liquid. But once in a while, you'll find a zero nick e-liquid that tastes really, really good. Not as often because the fact is, is that if it's a high quality nicotine additive, it's going to improve the flavor of the e-juice. A lot of that has to do with you know, obviously the quality of the mixology and, and the mixologist, you know, stuff like that. So I was a little bit surprised when I tried uh, the milk and oats from Monday's e-liquid. Um, I didn't expect the flavor to be so on par. Just straight up, really, really good solid flavor. And I mean solid. The profile and the consistency was absolutely top notch. What they say is in the flavor of the bottle is exactly what you're going to get. The milk and the oats worked so well together. It's a very, very subtle oaty flavor and the milk is just incredibly rich, not extremely creamy and overboard, but massively natural. I mean, I'm, we're not talking about a cup full of whole, you know, 5% uh, milk or whatever, um, but it is a little bit creamy, but it's really natural. It tastes like a glass of ice cold milk. And then a natural flavor to the oats, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of honey, tiny bit of kind of that earthy, buttery tone to the taste. Um, massively natural. It, it, it was really astounding. So here's the thing. Good quality nicotine, like I said, is always going to enhance the flavor of a properly mixed, properly dosed taste or flavor of the e-juice. And like I said, a lot of it does lay on to the mixologist. But is it because of the TFN? Or is it just because of even blending and proper judgment on flavor additives and amounts and whatnot? The point is, this is made from 100% TFN-derived nicotine. Does that add to the quality? Now, this is not the first TFN additive that I have tried. I've tried some other ones way in the past, around early 2015, when I first started doing reviews. And, uh, you know, with, with different processes on how to uh, basically accomplish the same goal, you're going to encounter different mindsets and, and uh, different uh, outlooks on how to do things. And I don't know a ton about TFN. I don't know the, the cost to benefit ratio, basically. There's a lot of people that I've met that have said, you know, TFN is no different than uh, tobacco derived nicotine. Maybe they're right. I mean, nicotine is nicotine. It's like saying you can get gasoline from five different sources and claiming that each one of those different sources is more natural and better gas for your car. You know what I mean? The end result is still the end result. However, is it going to be enough to pull away from the stringent federal guidelines that is being placed on everything that is a tobacco product, okay? You've got one thing you can fight against the federal regulation standpoint, against saying, you know, look, we don't want to consider it this. We want to consider it a cigarette alternative. We want to consider it a healthier alternative. Well, we can split hairs all we want. 
So do you want to completely separate those two and go, look, if we just completely took the nicotine totally out of everything, we'd have a different subject altogether. Therein comes the products like Alterna, which was on uh, my first Vape Blog 101. That's that mindset, completely taking nicotine out of the equation and putting something else in there that is 100% botanical derivative and uh, putting it straight into some of the favorite uh, flavors that we enjoy for a different experience. Now, it does add a different flavor when you do it that way, but TFN definitely is not a tobacco product. So it is extremely hard to say that Monday's e-liquid is a tobacco product when it has zero tobacco derivatives within it. Potato, potato, you know what I'm saying? So some would say this is extremely hair splitting when it comes to that whole subject of all oh, the Cole Bishop and the blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And to nicotine, to not take nicotine, to Alterna, to just go back to doing what we're doing and stick our head in the sand and hope everything comes out okay. The point is we've got options here. And you know, depending on how much, how many politics you really wanna get into the whole situation, pay attention to where it's moving in the course of how much of your life do you really wanna envelop into the whole vaping community in itself. The way I personally look at it is the logical standpoint of what nicotine is. Nicotine is nicotine is nicotine. Whether it comes from tobacco, whether it's a TFN product and it's a non-tobacco derivative of nicotine. Or you can completely take nicotine of all types out of the equation and have something different altogether and basically reinvent the vaping industry and community. And from what I have seen, it's not a bad idea, but more people don't really want to invest their time and recreate themselves than most people that are for the non-nicotine additives want to go for. And you know what, that's a personal mindset. The TFN products that I have tried, especially with Monday's e-liquid, is really, really good. What I definitely want to do is try the rest of their uh, three flavors out of four from Monday's e-liquid and give them a shot and base my assumption in flavor and quality wise on that alone. That will give me a really, really good mindset and uh, just kind of make up my mind a little bit easier on the quality structure of TFN products um, comparatively to tobacco derived nicotine. I think that would be a little bit more of a fair assessment. Like I said, I have reviewed TFN related products in the past, but none of them honestly that tasted as good as the Monday's e-liquid. So one thing I'll say about uh, Monday's is Vapecraft, um, pretty much everything that they've made that I have tried and reviewed is really, really high quality. They all taste top notch, um, really good mixology working on. The flavors are just a really solid with uh, the profile and the consistency. I've got nothing bad to say about anything that they do. You know, some flavors I like, some th flavors I don't like, some I like better than others. The majority of them though have all come across as really, really tasty. And the Monday's e-liquid for one has really touched base into the new movement and mindset about what is going on in the vaping community with all that stuff, with the tobacco and the, you know, the derivatives and, and, and so on and so forth. But uh, here's my assessment. Monday's e-liquid so far, one out of four flavors, absolutely amazing. Five out of five across the board, except for the harsh nicotine flavor right in here. You know what I'm saying? The throat hit, this stuff has absolutely zero. So you get a zero out of five on that one, which is really good. Sweet factor is through the roof, but not so stickly sweet. Makes you feel like you need to get a root canal after vaping it. Everything else is solid. It's a really, really good blend. Great cloud production. So not bad, not bad. You know, I mean, considering it definitely rises the line between a four and a five, but I'm feeling saucy and in a good mood today. So I'm definitely gonna give it a five out of five because I can and because it's my show. So Monday's e-liquid from Vapecraft. Definitely check these guys out. Go on to the page on uh, Instagram. Give them a shout out. Give them some love. Um, I think they definitely have something here. And personally speaking, professionally wise as well, throwing in that logic factor once again, hard to call something a tobacco product when the end result is derived from a non-tobacco product. Think about that, okay? You guys may actually have something over at Vapecraft. So I really, really hope 
you turn some heads, you turn the tides of Apecraft, Monday's e-liquid, and um, you make a little bit of difference when it comes to where the uh, direction of the community and the industry is gonna go, okay? So there is that on Vape Blog 101. Next thing we're gonna talk about is Coilmaster. Now, Coilmaster was cool enough to send me their 521 Mini Tab Coil Master Kit. Really, really cool, awesome little kit. I'm actually gonna get a close up of this. So, uh, you know, we're just gonna do this in old school style. Follow me along here. All right, my lovelies. Now, you guys have seen these before, more than likely, okay? Just about anybody uh, who is anybody has seen, um, uh, is familiar with Coilmaster, pretty much familiar with the Coilmaster kits. This is the first one that I have acquired, which I really, really appreciate from Coilmaster Net doing this for me, sent, giving me a, a definite solid and sending me this awesome kit for review. Um, so uh, we're going to take a look at just kind of some of the subtle differences between some of the standard kits you can get out there, a lot of the cookie cutter ones and the difference between those and the professional coil master kit in itself, okay? Now a lot of it is just kind of design and layout, and I mean, let's be honest, um, some of this stuff is, is really, really similar to a lot of other brands out on the market. Um, I actually ended up getting a knockoff of Coil Master, one of their um, uh, coil kits, uh, way before Coil Master ever sent me this kit. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be totally blunt and subjective. There isn't a whole heck of a lot of difference. Um, the one thing that I will say is that, um, you know, there sometimes is a really big difference between name brand and knockoff. So, of course, you've got your standard um, coil rods here, okay, that's just going to give you the different millimeter for wrap and whatnot. We, you know, if I can get the darn thing out. Okay, there we go. Pop. Okay, same kind of design, same kind of similar stuff. Set mine says Coil Master on it now. Are you guys jealous? Okay. So, of course, you get the tiny little scissors that go along with it. We're going to tighten up the shot just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, the Coil Master kit, the one thing, uh, a few things that are different, obviously, you get your awesome 521 mini tab, which is a combination ohm meter and and coil firing apparatus. We're definitely going to check that out in just a second. You're going to get 10 feet of 24 gauge Canthal A1 resistance wire, Coil Master brand. A um, few other little doodad differences, okay? On this side, you're going to basically all your main tools for doing whatever it is you need to do for coil building. You've got your little bird nose tweezers going on there as well as the ceramic tweezers for adjusting the coil so you don't burn the hell out of your fingers. You get your little snippers, you get your little needle nose pliers, of course your Phillips and your flat heads going on right there. And the one cool little aspect that I really dig is this neat little tri-tipped mini tool. Um, some of the different um, RDAs, RTAs, stuff like that, tanks will come with different sized and diameter, just, just different um, uh, type of screws and whatnot. This one obviously is for the Allen screw devices. And uh, you know, I don't have many of those, but you know what, if I did, I've got a cool little multi-tool to be able to do whatever the heck I want with it now. Okay, so <clears throat> on top of that, obviously we get your little um, coil winding jig and your little uh, your little jig holder going on there. But let's talk about the 521 mini tab. This is pretty much the um, main reason I think that most people buy the Coil Master Coil Building Kit. Runs off of a single 18650. Uh, exploitative plug for the hippie hauler. Love those guys, okay? They sent me just a ton of battery wraps from 18650. So, bust one of those bad boys in there and pop that on. Huge fire button, nice and solid raise on the flush mount right there for the 510. Stick it on the meter and it's just gonna give you an in general readout waiting for your coil to read the ohm. And of course, you buff that over to the fire button, press it. And, uh, well, obviously it's going to fire the coil, which is not there right now. So what I'm going to do is throw that bad boy right there. And I'm going to bring out my Ferro RDA. Love this thing. I believe it's a three to a three and a half milliliter capacity. I don't claim to know everything, guys. Okay, so those uh, super ultra dedicated nerds that are just about to slam me in my comment section... Joe, it's actually a two and a half milliliter, okay? You know what? Feel me. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm actually going to take 
the screws out here and we're going to rebuild a coil and I'm going to show you the thick and thin of that mini tab. I'm going to take this old Nath the Funky coil out and um, I am awesome enough to get my coils made for me from a guy by the name of the Constabulary. A lot of you guys out there already know who this guy is. Um, and I've been pipping his awesome coils for quite some time. And uh, he was cool enough to send me just a bunch of them that work exclusively awesomely for the Pharaoh. And um, this is just one of his badass little wraps. I believe he calls this one the Tsuka. Um, but then again, what the hell do I know? Because I don't build coils. All I know is that this is something awesome and amazing and nothing that I could ever do on my own. So what I'm gonna do is mount this bad boy on the ferrule. And uh, those of you who have never actually seen the ferrule before, it's a pretty simple mounting design and probably a heck of a lot easier than I'm making it look. So we're just gonna put it in like so. Okay, screw these bad boys down. Get a nice good clamp. Okay, so there's that. Got a little bit hanging out on the sides, which is okay, because we're gonna take our patented coil master snippers, okay? And uh, just kind of give a little snip on the side. We'll snip that off and we'll snip that off. Okay, so we're gonna take this bad boy and screw it flush into the 510 base. Comes with the mini tab, the 521 mini tab. First of all, we're gonna check the ohm meter, see what that clock's at. 0.24 ohms, which is just about perfect. Um, Josh, AKA the constabulary, um, makes all of my coils at about 0.2 to 0.25, anywhere between 0.2 and 0.3 ohms, which is perfect for me. I can usually fire that at about anywhere between 70 to 85 um, watts comfortably in a single coil and get really, really solid cloudage, okay? So um, very reliable ohm meter, as you can see. I mean, it just it just immediately reads it, boom, nothing. You don't even have to worry about it. So now what we're gonna do, set it to the fire position and I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. Now, why is this important? Why does this matter? Well, number one, if this coil is faulty for whatever reason, you're making your own coil and it just is kind of screwed up, it's messed up, you wanna play around with it or for those uh, coil architects and artisans out there, you wanna make it all pretty and blue and colorful and whatnot before you destroy it with some amazing vape juice. This is one of the easiest ways to be able to accomplish that without actually possibly screwing up your device. Now, I've never heard of anybody shorting out a device. Um, I'm sure that that may be some people's concerns, but the point is a device like this, the 521 mini tab, gives you the ability to play around with this coil and make it perfect before you actually connect it and screw it into your mod. So this is what we're gonna do. Hit that fire button. Okay, you can see a little bit of smoke. And there comes the heat. Now, like I said, we're working with a single 18650. This is not getting the height of what I'm trying to do with this coil, but you can see it definitely patinaed the coil. Okay, some color changes, some differences going on there. If this red, just a little bit, there we go. Kind of play around with it, there we go. Okay, so now you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. I'm getting a really solid fire out of this coil. If you sort of look in between, okay, you can see where that's kind of misfiring right there. That shows that the coils are touching a little bit too close and it's just not getting as positive a readout as it could be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my ceramic tipped pliers and I'm just gonna kind of pull apart the coils a little bit, just like that, so they're not touching. Okay, now let's give this bad boy a fire again. And as you can see, we're pretty much exactly where we wanna be. That is a really, really good, nice and steady fire emanating directly from the middle, going out to the legs, which is exactly where you want it to be. It's exactly what you want to see. So you can see how evenly the Coilmaster 521 mini tab 
really burns that coil up, gives you a solid indication this is exactly where you want it to be. And as um, soon as you're done with that, shut it off, wait for it to cool down just a little bit, connect it to your favorite mod, obviously with a little bit of cotton in the bad boy or else it's useless, and, um, and just fire away, you know what I'm saying? So that is the convenience of the Qualmaster 521 mini tab. And you know, I'll be perfectly honest with you and subjective once again, this is probably the highlight of the Coilmaster kit, in my personal opinion. The ease of having a solid and reliable ohm meter, plus the ability to fire up these coils, play around with them like I just did with the kit, makes things really, really super simple and just a heck of a lot more convenient to carry around and want to carry around. So that is probably the biggest allurance for me and I think for a lot of other consumers out there to want to have this kit is because of this mini tab. Um, you know, obviously the quality of the parts that come with the kit, um, you know, they all add into the awesomeness of what Coilmaster does. But, um, you know, I mean, let's face it. I think the uh, 521 mini tab was probably, um, you know, just like a flagship product for them, you know. So, um, so what we're going to do is bring this up to a swift close, talk a little bit about a giveaway for the end of this Vape Vlog 101, and uh, just kind of do it to it. All right, guys, so uh, wrapping things up, and to talk about probably the only reason why you stuck around past the beginning of Vape Vlog 101 giveaway time, you know what I'm saying? Now, Coilmaster, in their benevolent awesomeness, besides giving me their awesome 521 mini tab kit, coil kit, they also gave me, for some strange reason, one too many 521 mini tabs. Um, can't imagine what I would do with two, since this one is brand spanking new. Figured I might send y'all a little bit of love, okay? So you know how it goes with Joe of All Vapes, guys. Easy peasy. When this episode of Vape Vlog 101 comes out, I want you to put Vape Vlog 101 Coil Master Giveaway. That is Vape Vlog 101 Coil Master Giveaway in the comment section below on the Instagram post releasing this video. And I will choose somebody within a week's time to receive this Coilmaster 521 mini tab. And one of the reasons why I want to touch base on Coilmaster, obviously, you know, they gave me the stuff and I did want to review it for you guys. They do have a brand new 521 plus tab, ohm meter and firer coming out. Um, actually, it already is out. It hasn't flooded the market nearly as hard as, uh, as I would have assumed at this point. But um, that's one of the reasons why Coilmaster wanted me to get this review out for you guys to help kind of slide into the brand new 521 Plus tab that's coming out. I don't have a ton of information on that one, but what I do definitely want is for somebody to win this 521 Mini tab so that we can definitely keep in track with Coilmaster Net, see what they have coming out. The brand new product, their uh, brand new 521 Plus tab. Looking forward to that. They've got some good quality stuff. They always have been a big pinnacle in the vaping industry and the vaping community. So, uh, Coilmaster, definitely want to thank you very much for sending me both the giveaway 521 as well as the 521 Coilmaster Mini Tab Coil Kit. I'm gonna get some awesome use out of this bad boy, let me tell you. And I hope somebody out there gets some use out of the 521 too. So. Um, Monday's e-liquid from Vapecraft. Thank you very much for allowing me to try out your TFN product. I really, really hope that this goes far and beyond everybody's expectations because it definitely did mine. For those of you that want to look more into this stuff, check out Monday's e-liquid or go onto the Vapecraft Instagram page and that will kind of redirect you where you need to go. But just check out Monday's e-liquid, really tasty stuff. TFN nicotine derivative, not from tobacco at all. So we'll see what the feds have to say about that one. You know what I'm saying? So bring this to a close, guys. I really, really want to thank you for sticking it with me. A lot of you guys, most of you are my Instagram family. Thank you very much for sticking it through me through some rough times. Like I said, I haven't had the chance to do much of anything of the stuff that I love to do. It might slow down to a permanent kind of a chilled capacity for me. Now that I have a son coming up on the way, the family priorities, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to ever stop. I love what I do. I love doing with, uh, you know, what I do with you guys. I either become a massive, huge celebrity, folks, or just a friend that you like to vape with every now and then. And 
have a little bit of late night life feeds with, you know. Uh, there's uh, some of my late night uh, life feed friends out there. You guys know who you are. Uh, Joe of all vapes can get a little bit rummy when it gets past 11 p.m., but that's uh, that's for grown-up time, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, thank you very much for sticking it with me once again. This is Joe of all vapes, your eye in that vaping sky, wishing you to stay humble. As always, love yourselves, love each other, keep it fabulously, wonderfully, amazingly cloudy. Hey everybody, this is Joe of All Vapes. Thank you for watching. For the best in vape reviews, pound that subscribe button and don't forget, vaping saves lives.